Hi everyone, Dr. Remy from Pain Free and Fit. Today, a great video for those of you with cervical degenerative discs, herniated discs, or bulging discs. We're going to tackle the topic of shoulder blade positioning with neck strengthening exercises. Hope you enjoy. So if you've seen any of our other videos on neck problems, especially degenerative discs, herniated discs, and bulging discs, we've talked about the importance of strengthening exercises such as lateral flexion exercises against gravity, rotation exercises, and even head retraction and extension exercises. These exercises are designed to improve the circulation in your damaged soft tissues, get the joints that are often tight to start moving again, and create a strengthening effect to help you hold a more neutral position or neutral spine, a safe position of your neck for doing activities without damaging with the mechanical stresses the soft tissues that are causing pain in your neck, be it facet joint, disc, muscle, ligament, fascia, etc. Today we're going to talk about a very important part that a lot of people mistakenly don't include in their exercise for strengthening the neck, which is the shoulder blade position. Most people with problems with cervical degenerative discs, herniated and bulging discs, also have a problem with either a rounded shoulder posture, a tipped shoulder posture, a exaggerated shrugging shoulder or an abducted shoulder posture and these postures because the trapezius and the left scap muscles attach from the shoulder blade up into the neck if you're doing these strengthening exercises without positioning your shoulder blades in neutral you'll actually be strengthening the position or the abnormal mechanics of your shoulder blade which over time is going to increase the stress into your neck if my trapezius and left scap muscle on my top side are not in a correct position with my shoulder blade in a neutral position, but if I do it with a rounded or a tipped shoulder posture and I strengthen the trapezius and the left scap and even the SCM that attaches to the clavicle, all of these muscles are going to be strengthened in a position to pull the shoulder into that abnormal position. What does that do? What, during your daily activities, during your sports maneuvers, it's strengthening your ability to hold your shoulder posture in the wrong position thus creating a dysfunctional pull through these muscles onto the neck, creating an asymmetrical and abnormal stress on the neck and many times aggravating pain. So keep in mind through a good analysis on your body what your mechanical dysfunctions are. Make sure your shoulder blades are square. Make sure they're not tipped. Bring the bottom of the shoulder blade forward and the top back if you have a tipped shoulder posture. If you have an abducted shoulder posture, correct that. A downward rotated shoulder posture, correct that. You want to make sure you're in a neutral position so that as you do your strengthening exercises, those muscles that attach from your shoulder blade to the neck, such as the trapezius and the left scap, are going to be strengthened in a more neutral position. So when you get up and move, when you do your sports activities, you're going to be having the ability to hold your shoulder in a more neutral position, thus decreasing the deleterious effects of abnormal shoulder blade posture on chronic neck pain. If you like this video and would like to learn more, subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of great videos out there. Questions or comments, write in as always. I'll do my best. Remember, if you're looking for a tailored exercise program to figure out what your body mechanics are, what your postural stresses, your movement dysfunctions are, you want a good analysis on your body to figure out how to go about and create rehabilitative exercises as a self-management skill to help with your pain, check out our neck healing exercise program available at painfreeandfit.com. I hope this video on scapula and shoulder blade dysfunction and posture with neck strengthening exercises helps you with your chronic degenerative herniated and bulging disc neck pain.